hi welcome back to my channel um i wanted to today i want us to talk about something a bit um near and dear to my heart which is about mental health um i know a few people who will think okay what is there to discuss about mental health because i mean it's uh what what um it's all over the place now um I want to talk about how I came to discover that mental health is important in my life, in my children's life and all that. Um, so what happened is I grew up like I grew up like many of our, many Africans in um very in a well, you know, Christian family and um everything was done by faith and um we were happy and everything was good um so problems were resolved by prayer and you do not complain because other people have it worse than you do um so i kind of grew up with this mentality and i i, I genuinely thought that it was quite self-indulgent to start saying oh i have a problem or oh, i'm depressed or oh, i'm feeling sad you know for me it was it was just not how you handle problems um unfortunately uh i'm quite prone to depression um and especially just before my periods i get very very intense pms and it's it yeah it does make me feel quite horrible at times my solution to that was actually in my 20s drinking so i just drank and um, i was looking back with my therapist yes i do see a therapist I was looking back with my therapist and every single ex-boyfriend i had we broke up around the time just before my periods <laughs> i i guess before my periods i'm not very inclined to discuss or to take well many of them deserve to be broken up with but i mean i'm just not inclined to to understand or to argue or to discuss anything i'm just closed um but i i genuinely thought that it was normal to feel that way and i thought well drinking my problems away was a good way to handle it um unfortunately that was not a good way to handle it because what happened was when i got pregnant with my daughter i could not drink i made a conscious decision not to drink and uh well you know one thing led to another and i just everything was just so I, I was going through a lot at the time and it was it just became too much for me by the time i was giving birth i was a mess and i remember there were days when i didn't even know if it was morning or evening i remember there were days i would sit and just cry there were days i would just wake up and all of a sudden it's night and sometimes i didn't even know which day it was i didn't know if it was monday or sunday or whatever and i i remember talking to somebody about it and she told me and this really hurt me she told me you know for someone who was raised in a christian family what's wrong with you why don't you just pray god can solve everything and this person did not mean harm let me first say that this person did not mean it in a bad way but would you tell somebody who has a broken arm that just pray and your arm will get better you know i think we she took it that my uh depression was as a result of me not having enough faith and i believed her i believed that if i just prayed i might i will get better not to say that that doesn't help but it was not enough um at some point i actually attempted suicide i survived i was admitted in hospital and i was made to take um uh therapy uh to see a therapist and to i started taking anti i agreed to take antidepressants and they, they did not force me to do that i agreed and uh, within a few months my life started getting back to normal and uh, things started getting better the only thing is well i'm still paying for it with all these extra kilos that i have but um 
all this to say that okay it does make a difference when um when you have people around you it does make a difference when you have faith and you have something to hold on to you know and you believe that th that there's something greater than you it does make a difference but let's not discount the fact that sometimes you have clinical depression which needs medication or sometimes you have um or sometimes you have a um, series of uh, issues that you that you're going through that actually do need um verification that do need um to be sorted out and sometimes you need to dig deep and to be able to to work on your problems and i remember at some point i told somebody that i actually had an appointment um and someone told me oh what's wrong i was like i'm going to see a doctor and she was like oh are you sick i'm like no 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 then you know and and I was so embarrassed because I was going to see a therapist and I didn't want to tell her that because I felt she was going to judge me. A few months later, I met with her <laughs> and uh, she was not looking okay. And um, I asked her, oh, are you okay? And uh, she told me, no, I'm just going through a lot right now. And she also seemed like she was hiding something and then... Um, turns out we were going to the same place <laughs> we're not to see the same therapist but to see well the therapists were in the same um office and both of us looked at each other like you know we we you should have told me and i was like yeah well you should have told me too but you know I, it's still something that many people cannot talk about it's still something looked down upon that oh you are so weak you need a clutch you need what but what i have come to realize is it doesn't matter what others say it really doesn't matter what others say. I love the fact that I am able to go and sit with somebody and she's able to tell me when um, things are normal and when things are not. I'm able to learn a few coping mechanisms that I never thought that I was able to. I'm able to, even starting this channel was actually my therapist's idea because she said, you know what? Find a way to share your experiences and um, if you love, if that's what you love doing, go ahead, do it. And it helped. It really does help. Um, so what would you say are this? So what is it that you need to look out for if you have a friend and uh, you're worried about them? So if you have, if, you know, sometimes depression is not so obvious um there are people are different sometimes somebody is very outgoing i was very outgoing despite the fact that when i was alone i wanted to, i wanted to kill myself but when i was outside with other people i could hide it very well there are lots of people who function that's why you hear somebody committed suicide and you're like what was their problem they they seemed okay i was with them today they did not no it's not written on your face sometimes it's sometimes it's so deep and that's maybe why some people don't even know that they're depressed because we have a stereotype of what a depressed person is we have oh the person does not leave the house the person cries too much the person has um no eats too much or does not eat or you know so they we have the stereotypes but then there are people who just look normal but something is missing inside them not to say that stress and you know not to say that we don't all go through periods where we are we can we have problems but when you notice that this person or you notice yourself or is that something is consistent and it's a bit above and beyond or somebody reacts a bit too much to some and disproportionately disproportional reaction um i think then it's worth mentioning to somebody especially if you're a good friend you know you'd mention something like are you okay um, i mean the best example would be you know sometimes people 
okay you find somebody who has committed suicide and uh, yeah the suicide note says that it's because i was dumped um when you dig deeper this person already had other issues it's just they couldn't pinpoint the issue and this was the one big event that happened and then they're like oh yeah so this is the reason why i'm feeling this way i don't know what to do and you know that's just the last nail in the coffin it's not what started it you don't know what started it some of us have emotional baggage from childhood there are people who grew up in homes where they were not listened to there are people who were abused as children there are people who have hidden so much inside that they genuinely do not know any other way of coping and it only takes a small trigger to make it just go all you know just everything just all of a sudden you know not worth it you know all of a sudden life is not worth living and i just hope that um i am a friend to my friends i'm hoping that i'm the kind of friend that somebody can call and just be like you know what i don't know what's wrong with me but i just feel like crap today and i hope that you would also be that kind of friend that somebody can call and just tell you that oh, you know what today is not a good day i just feel like i want to cry and i don't know why and you tell them it's okay and you don't judge them and you don't tell them what's wrong with them and you don't tell them why what they're feeling is wrong and you don't tell them why um, other people have bigger problems and you don't tell them how those are rich people problems and you have better things to worry about granted i also say things like that sometimes i'm not going to lie i have had occasions where i'm like i really don't have time for this there are real problems in the world and that's a small problem but of course those are times when i feel like that and then i sit back and reflect and i'm like hmm okay yeah it's true but my therapist on my very first session when i told her that i don't feel right to doing this i'm only doing it because i'm scared that i might lose my daughter if i don't get, seek therapy she told me listen if you have to, to worry about the problems of everybody else you will never realize just how deep your problems are for the for every child who is um hungry there's a millionaire who has no idea what to do with there's a millionaire who's overeating and doesn't know what to to do with the extra food and so you can't start you can't put off your problems because by not solving your problem you're not helping that other person anyway and uh if you keep thinking about how other people's problems are bigger than yours then honestly you will never have like every single thing you know she told me you cannot take care of others at the risk of not taking care of yourself if and this was high exact example if your nail is broken and you say okay fine i'm not going to worry about my broken nail because other people have broken fingers and then you leave your broken nail and it gets infected i don't know how the nail was getting infected but anyway it got infected and then you're thinking well i can't really worry about this infected nail because i mean other people have broken arms and then oh other people don't even have an arm and all of a sudden you will be in that group of people with no arms because the infection is going to spread and then you will be no help to that person who doesn't have an arm anyway because you did not take care of the small problem so if you feel like your worry is small take care of that worry because if you want to be of help to that person who has big worries that you you don't want to take care of yourself because you want to take care of that person at some point that person is going to lose you and then you will not be of help to them i hope that this was a bit helpful um reach out be nice to people be kind take time to understand people take time to care and um other than that i hope you have a great day now remember to subscribe okay remember to subscribe remember to share this is something that you really should share because you never know what somebody is going through you never know what somebody needs and you never know when somebody needs um just a listening ear 
and then I will be back in two days with more videos. Bye-bye.